welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy Lukasiak. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave me a comment, all the things you're supposed to do on YouTube. You know, you know the drill. I was inspired today to actually do this video from Chloe because she did this video and I actually thought that she was absolutely hysterical in her video because she is secretly channeling like a 98 year old woman at all times. <laughs> Chloe did a whole what's in my purse video. I have never seen someone with so many ointments ever. We're gonna do a what's in my bag video and then you can compare it to what's in Chloe's bag because I feel like my bag is less of a mom bag than clothes. So we're gonna get started. Are you excited? First of all, do we not love this bag? Look how cute like the little stripey strap is. I love this bag because I like this crossbody, but also it is the perfect size. It's actually kind of heavy, but it's the perfect size to put all of my junk in. Plus it's like cute on my crook of my arm. I just love it. I think it's cute and it has a button to expand on the sides. Plus the other thing is it's made of a really durable canvas. So it kind of holds up really well. Like I have some purses that are like very um, soft leather and I'm always afraid I'm gonna scratch them. But this one, I know that it's gonna take a beating and still look good. So here's my bag, love this bag. And I actually don't really know everything that I have in here. So this is gonna be kind of a surprise for all of us. We're gonna start with my keys. Super exciting, right? So these are my keys. I actually have a really heavy keychain on here. Can you see this? This keychain I actually need to take off because it like weighs 9,000 pounds and it makes my bag really heavy. But this is from the Hotel Ducap Eaton Rock in the south of France. First of all, it's the most amazing hotel. But second of all, they're known for like their red and white floaty inner tubes. And this is kind of like the bougie version for their 150 year anniversary. And I have to say, I have driven some really, interesting cars in my life and I constantly, constantly, constantly am so grateful because I absolutely love the car I drive now. Every time I get in it, I say like a little thank you to the universe that that is my car because I mean, my very first car was a 76. It was like older than me and it has a bee's nest in the back because it was my great uncle's car. He died. My grandfather gave it to me. It was the oldest car of all time. It had an AM radio. So every time I get in my car right now, I'm like, oh like I earned this over all of my years so I'm so grateful just wanted to tell you next up we have all right this is kind of just like a little zippered card holder isn't that be cute so I got this from Amazon and I love it it came like a two pack I think it was like eight dollars for two but I love having this little thing because it's so easy to just throw change in I keep like any change in here that I get because I really don't like it in my wallet because it makes my wallet bulky. And then I keep other things in here like cards that don't necessarily fit in my wallet. Um, you know, extra things that I'm not using every day, like a Disney gift card, you know, cause I'm clearly not using that every day. My spa frequent flyer card. <laughs> I have a Target coupon. Very exciting stuff, Christy. And then of course I have change, but Love this little guy and I like that bee. I'm kind of obsessed with bees. I have a bee thing. I don't know why, but I do. Moving on to, I mean, I feel like this is pretty basic, but I love a notebook. Um, I carry notebooks with me all the time and here's my cute pen. Isn't that pen cute? It's like a little diamond. I carry a notebook with me in case I ever get like inspired ideas. Yes, I can write them in my notes in my phone, but I very much am like a pen and paper kind of girl. So sometimes like something will come to me and I'll just need to write for a few minutes to like get it all out. Like if you wake up from a dream, you know, and you're trying to write and remember it. I have moments like that throughout my day where something will just come into my brain and I'm like, oh, I need to write it down. So I always have a notebook and a pen in my bag. So uh, that is one of my faves. All right, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I keep my Kindle in my bag. This is my little Kindle Paperwhite because there's lots and lots and lots of all my books on it, but look how light and like, it's so, so tiny and light. It's great to keep in my bag in case, you know, I'm ever stuck waiting for something or, you know, like, 
yesterday I went to pick Claire up from school and I forgot that she had science bowl or mathletes or some other nerd convention. I was an hour early because I forgot she had it so I just sat in the parking lot and read. So I love to always have my Kindle with me. And yes, Claire knows that I call those things like nerd conventions and actually she does as well so I am not making fun of my daughter. Ish. So I have this little charger. Look how cute this charger is. First of all, it looks like a bear, right? But it's not just a charger. It has a place on the back that you can like obviously charge your phone. It doubles as a flashlight in case I'm ever outside and I need a flashlight. It's also a little fan. So it's perfect to keep in your bag, like if you're traveling and it's really warm and everybody's bitching that they're sweating, you have a little fan and look, it like doesn't even hurt if you touch it. So I keep this little charger, la 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 la. So isn't that the cutest? Again, Amazon, I think I paid like $11 for this. You know what, I will try to link the things that I'm telling you about in my description if I can find them. So look at my description if you want like a little bear fan or a bee wallet. What next? Ugh, can't live without this. This is my Laneige. Uh, it's a sleep mask, it's a lip gloss, but honestly, I use it just on my lips throughout the day. Look, you can tell, it's almost empty. I have like 15 of these throughout my house because it's like the actual best. I have never had like a lip gloss type situation that I love as much as this one, but always have Laneige in case like, you know, I need a little moisture on my lips. So I keep that in there. And then next I have, oh, I have my wallet. Isn't that cute? And you know what? It's like a smaller wallet, uh, but it's perfect for me because I just like to have, you know, a couple of things in here. Do you want to know one of my hacks? Like this is one of my manifestation hacks in life. No matter what, not many of us ever have cash in their wallet, but I always keep, keep a hundred dollar bill in my wallet at all times because I want it to call its friends in. So I keep that $100 bill, I don't spend it, it just is in there, I've had it for a while, but I want it to invite its friends into my wallet. So I put it in there so it can call all of its friends in and they can have a party. I mean, if you don't have a $100 bill, have a 50 or a 20 or even a couple dollars, don't have an empty wallet, put some money in there so that the universe is like, oh, she has lots of money, let's give her more. So let your money call in their friends. Speaking of the universe, yes, I do in fact keep in my bag at all times. I have my pendulum. So this is my first pendulum. I have a pendulum in my desk and I have a pendulum in my car, but this one is my white quartz pendulum. And sometimes I just need, you know, like something will be happening and I want to touch it because I like the, the feeling of the pendulum, like the stone, or sometimes I need to like get a little clarification on a question and my intuition isn't exactly like firing off. I'll ask my pendulum and I really do believe in it because honestly, all a pendulum does is it reads micro vibrations in your body. So your body, it's not like a weird witchy thing. It's like you have micro vibrations all through your muscles. And so if you're holding a pendulum, all you're doing is trans or I guess interpreting what your muscles are telling you. That's all it is. So if it goes back and forth, it's a no. If it goes in a circle, it's a yes. At least that's what mine is. So it's not really witchy. It's just, it's reading your body's micro vibrations. I don't always have oh, all five of these in my bag, but I have some crystals. Oh, I'm dropping them off. That was my moonstone. So I carry a few crystals and let's see, I have celestite, moonstone, I have amethyst, rose quartz, and smoky quartz in here. Look, I believe in energy and I like them and it just makes me feel uh, safe. You never knew that Christy was secretly a witch. Or did you? And the truth is, both of my girls are very into like crystals and pendulums. Don't come at me. It's just something I like. Finally, I carry in my bag this little guy, which I actually bought this in Versailles in Paris this summer because I thought it was really cute. It's like a Marie Antoinette print. And it reminds me of my grandma because it's like an old fashioned little bag. But I keep a lot of goodies in here. Like, oh, I keep a mask you know, an extra mask in case I need it. Some Lysol spray, because you never know when you need to like disinfect something. Okay, then I have, uh, 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 I have a lip crayon from NARS. Let's see what color is this. It's posh. So this is one of their nude sticks. And then I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I keep two lipsticks in my bag. Uh, 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 what else? Hair tie. 
and oh I have this immune throat spray again you know we're in like flu and cold season and it's COVID so that just helps off fight off infections I have my Equilibria these are fast dissolving calming melts they're CBD in case you know you're feeling a little stressed out I do have those I needed these during dance moms I have my CBD oil roller in case I get a headache I get terrible headaches and honestly this really does help me also like if I have a neck ache a lot of you have asked because I have arthritis in my foot I'm getting ready to have surgery this is the only thing that has given me any type of foot relief I swear by it so I think that is it that's everything in my purse I mean, kind of basic, but then you have things like pendulums and crystals. <laughs> I think Chloe probably beat me in the ointments. I might have beat her in the witchcraft. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a fabulous week. Please leave a comment below what thing surprised you the most and what video do you want to see next? So see you next time. Bye.